Today we'll be using Pentel Oil Pastels, Gansoil Odorless Mineral Spirits, and Derwent Chroma Flow Colored Pencils. Hi, I'm Jesse Nebulous, and we're going to be answering a question today. And that question is, can you use Gansoil with oil pastels? And the answer is absolutely. First of all, just let me say that I am actually sick, so I apologize if my voice is a little rough. I'm trying to power through. <laughs> so, here we are. Anyway, what is Gamsol? Gamsol is a brand of odorless mineral spirit, which is a solvent, and solvents dissolve um, substances. In this case, we're trying to decide if it can s dissolve the oil in the oil pastel, leaving behind the pigment which it can. And then you can then use a brush to move the pigment around a little bit and kind of paint with it a little bit. It's actually kind of a fun technique. And as you can see, I am going around the drawing, adding different colors. I'm doing an abstracted landscape. And I should probably preface this by saying I am not generally an oil pastel artist. I am primarily a color pencil artist. So my skill with oil pastel is a little lacking, but it's fun. I do enjoy playing around with it sometimes. And I've noticed I have made another video on this subject uh, a couple years ago before I really took uh, uploading videos seriously. I will link that if you would like to watch that one as well. It answers a lot of the same questions and really quick I'm going to point out that there are a few safety precautions that you need to take if you're going to uh, use odorless mineral spirits of any kind um, they are toxic so you, you do want to use certain precautions and it's perfectly safe as long as you're smart about it you know you use an ventilated area you keep it away from your kids and your pets you don't breathe it in you don't use it near an open flame. If you spill it on yourself, you wash it off, things like that. You just want to be smart about it. And if you're a minor, ask your parents first. I don't need to get sued. <laughs> My non-existent lawyers would not be happy with me. Anyway. So I'm just going along, filling up the page with pigment. And as you can see, I've chosen a lot of bold colors because oil pastel, generally I like bold colors to begin with. So when I play with oil pastels, and I do call it playing because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> when I use oil pastels, I tend to gravitate towards really bright colors, even more so than I do with colored pencil, just because they're so vibrant and rich and lovely. So I've got the sky done. Now I'm gonna move on to the ground. And I kind of chose some greens and blues for the ground. I kind of wish I had put the dark um, on top to kind of differentiate where the sky and the ground is a bit more. But, you know, you live, you learn, you get loves, that kind of thing. And it was fun to play around with oil pastel. I need to do it more often. I always enjoy it. And I do recommend this brand of Pentel because they're fairly inexpensive, but they do work fairly well. Uh, I think they're like eight or nine bucks for a 50 pack. And I got them on Amazon. So as you can see, I'm pulling away with all the little extra bits and smoothing it out with the white. But you do want to pull off all the extra bits that you do get with some oil pastels. Okay, now I'm using the Gamsol. As you can see, it blends it out quite nicely. You don't need to use much Gamsol. If you use too much, it will push the pigment out too much and you'll have white spots left um, where you can see the paper showing through, which if you want to get more painterly with it, maybe you want that, but that is something to keep in mind. Uh, you also want to, as you can see in a moment, I shift over to going with the, um, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm on a lot of cold medicine. But when you try to blend out from light to dark, that's the way you kind of want to do it. 
I did it very quickly so I couldn't even comment on it, but around the sun I uh, blended away from I blended away from the um, yellow to the blue instead of the blue to the yellow. And once it dried up a little bit, I'm adding some extra color and I'm going to go over the whole thing with white just to further smooth it out and lighten it up a little bit because it was looking a little dark for my tastes. Um, and as you can see, that further blends it out. And Oh, a quick... I'm also going to go over with color pencils. quick thing about Yamsol is after you... Uh, blend it out you want to wipe the excess on a paper towel and before you dip it back into the Gamsol because it's gonna contaminate the Gamsol and it's gonna get really muddy with pigment and such very quickly so and you can use colored pencil over top it's a technique I love to do you see I'm drawing a little tree here using the Derwents And you do have to wipe some of the pigment and excess off of your colored pencil too. That's something to be aware of. Well, we're coming up to the end of the video and we're going to see the finished piece in a minute. I just want to say thank you for joining me. And I hope this was helpful. Please check out my channel if you feel so inclined. And comment and subscribe. Like the video. Thanks. Bye.